Hello Leo, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. This is going to be your soulmate, twin flame, and whatever else comes up in the reading November uh, spread. I can't believe we're already in November, but it is Scorpio season, so and we're moving into retrograde, so it's a perfect time to review the things that have happened, but I feel like it's a good uh, time, a good time to transform, you know, the death card is Scorpio and rebirth into this new life. So how are you transforming in your life? What are you understanding about yourself that you didn't know? Taking that review and moving forward. Remember, time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So whenever you're guided to this reading is a perfect time for you. And as always, take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you have Leo in your chart in a strong way. Um, and also you can be cross-watching for a Leo. So take whatever side you're on, um, whatever side you're resonating as you, and the other side will be them or the opportunity that you're looking into. Okay, where are you at? We're going to use the Oracle Shadows Light in yourself, your body. Faceless, ghosts, and the haunted girl. Okay, so I feel like you're learning a lot of spiritual lessons, right? And the way that you're learning these spiritual lessons is through other people around you that are you know are not authentic. You know they're wearing a mask. You're getting the clarity on that now and you feel like they're just try there's and if you don't know it or don't realize there are people or energies that are trying to attach to you and take your identity, take your ideas, sucking the life out of you, making you feel like you're you don't even know who you are. So if you know who these people are, it's time to let go of these people. They're just going to drift off and be connected to someone else that seems more powerful or seems more whatever eventually, but they're not there's some people wearing false masks. So if you aren't aware of this, maybe this is your wake-up call to not be paranoid by any means, but just kind of wake up to being honest with yourself about the people around you. Do you really know them? Are they really being authentic? Maybe this is people at work. Maybe this is how your relationship has have been, and it's like you just want someone that's authentic. So by you, by you being authentic and letting them go and setting your boundaries and learning your lessons, you're going to bring in someone that's authentic like that. Your mind, your intellect... You're, you're really connecting with Mother Earth and, and wondering what you can do to help yourself, help your physical body. So you've been thinking about taking care of your physical body, going back to the natural way you do things, bringing things into balance. Four, four, four is um, bringing things into balance for me. And eight, manifesting better health. I feel a lot of healing going on in your life and you're thinking about moving towards a more natural diet a more vegetarian diet, and this is your confirmation that yes, that, that's what you need to do to bring your health into restoration, to bring yourself back to be able to manifest even better, is bringing yourself, your physical body. So you, you, in your mind, you've been thinking about ways to bring yourself into balance, thinking about exercising again, thinking about what you should do next, um, what's going to feel good to you, what's going to help you get out of this funk that you've been in and help you move out of these, these types of energies. Uh, is this going to bother me, that piece of glitter? That's gone. Um, so that's what I'm feeling for you. You're thinking about what you can do. And what's in your heart space, your soul, your emotions? Ooh, look at that. A powerful energy shift. I love this card for you, Leo, because to me, this feels like Leo. It feels like that power, that strength of a lion, that, oh, God, that sexiness about you, that sensuality, connecting to the sacred sexual union within yourself and wanting to share that with another, like a total eclipse of the night, like ending things and getting ready for these brand new beginnings where you're letting go of these types of energies and you're bringing in energies that are more suited for you, that desire you and that you desire them. It's like the mysteries of the night that... You know, I, I, to me, the Scorpio energy is very sexual and very sensual. So that might be heightened at this time where you're really thinking about that, thinking about being with your partner or who you want to be with. And you're wanting to take care of your physical body so that you can be ready for this and feel good in your own skin. But this is you feeling good, the action that you're taking, letting go of these energies, letting go of codependencies, addictions, any toxins in your life are going to help you feel and give you that shift you need to be the god or goddess that you are what motivates you and makes you feel passionate is um 
clearing it out, cleaning it up. That's motivating you. Clearing out these energies is very motivating to you. Clearing out your physical body, decluttering, detoxifying your life and your surroundings, getting rid of things that don't serve you anymore, getting rid of people, getting rid of bad habits, toxic thoughts. But you're cleaning up the toxicity in your life, okay? Cleaning up the ego, balancing the shadows and the light, balancing the masculine and feminine within. And you're just, you want to get rid of anything that's not serving you, that's that's making you sick. I feel like somebody, you've been feeling sick from these energies or sick from maybe, hmm, this might be for somebody that you, you've recently cleaned up your house of mold or you found a little mold and you're going to get it cleaned up. That's going to help your health. I know very specific and don't freak out. It's just for someone that already is aware of this. Okay. This is not a new thing you're already aware. So cleaning that up, clearing up your space, um, you know, a little fall cleaning or wherever you're at in the world just you know letting go of things that aren't serving you that's what's motivating you that's what's going to get you here into this shift beautiful what's manifesting in your life is bravery confidence that leo to the lion confidence that's what's being manifested for you is being brave is having this clarity and truth and just going at it whatever that is whatever you're passionate about too is all about union coming together making choices going towards that union Maybe you've been in fear of moving towards it because you weren't sure, but it's really because other people around you were telling you um, telling you untruths, not being authentic, lying to you because they were trying to prevent this union for some someone. Some people were trying, trying to prevent this union, like people from the past wanting, like coming back and, and, and tricking you. I just feel like you've been... The biggest message here is listen and trust yourself. Let go of all those bothersome and gossipy energies around you. People telling you what to do and how to be. And it's time for you to step into your own power and make choices for um, the best. I mean, it's it's everything coming into balance for you. And you're shifting into this new reality. And it's a really big shift. And it feels a little scary at times. But you've got what it takes you do. You have what it takes. You've got this. Clean it up and move on forward. And express yourself cre creatively. And allow yourself to tap into that sensual part of you, that passionate part of you. Because that's, that's part of you. That's a big part of you. And it's what's going to help propel you forward. Okay, now we're going to get information on the person that you're thinking of or the situation. Where are they at with self, body? They're a little uncertain. They're trying to decide who they are, trying to decide what they want now, thinking about everything they've learned, pondering, reflecting, feeling a little shaky, feeling a, a little uncertain within themselves, not knowing who they are anymore because they're getting all of this clarity and truth and things are changing so rapidly that they're a little uncertain right now, a little, a little shaky, a little unstable. Um, where are they at in their headspace? What are they thinking? Oh yeah, because it's wake up call. The universe, whoever this person is, it's been a big shift, tower moment, storm blowing through. It's a wake-up call, and they know it's their time to wake up. They know it's their time. Sevens are spiritual lessons. Twenty-five is a seven. They're knowing it's time to wake up and overcome this uncertainty, to make decisions, to decide who they really are, decide what they want, and take charge of their life. Knowing that they're abundant and knowing they have all these ideas. See, I see like gears. I love steampunk gears and things like they have all these ideas, all these things they've been working on, maybe inventing something, a creative project, a little uncertain about moving that forward and bringing that into the physical world. But if you know this person in the physical or you're cross watching and this is you, it's your moment. It's your moment to shine. So they know that it's their moment to shine. They're waking up to that and bringing all of this in, into the physical and sharing it with others is what I mean by that, like waking up to their calling, waking up to their destiny, waking up to this union. What is in the heart and soul and emotions of this person is a little regret. Thinking of the past, idealizing it, you know, romanticizing it, uh, fearing that they've made a mistake. They're just, they're a little uncertain right now, kind of regretting the decisions that they've made. Um, you know, this is maybe in the past they ignored the spiritual lessons because this is another seven. So in their heart, they're they're trying to overcome this regret in the past. They're waking up to it that they need to. And maybe they've obsessed a little too much about the past. And maybe if this is someone from your past, they made some mistakes and they fear how you're going to look at them when they come forward. 
that's why they're uncertain to come forward to you if this if it's re if this storyline's resonating with you they're waking up they understand the connection but now they feel bad for what did or didn't happen and um they've realized that maybe they've made a mistake and they're just uncertain how to move forward but they're awake they're awake what's their um, passion or motivation for moving forward is you are rare and free there are not many like you wow and this is an 11 leveling up to mastership an opportunity to do that new beginnings and and they're realizing that this this opportunity this union that you are rare and free okay this is what motivates them is you're rare and you're free and you are freedom to them and you're an outside of the box thinker and you take chances and you take risks and they know this is this is a beautiful opportunity for them they're just a little stuck in the past right now, a little stuck, a little stuck right now. What's manifesting for them is, wow, awesome. They're forgetting who they are. Conditioning falls away. Memory no longer defines you. The memories and the uncertainty of the past is no longer going to define them. The nostalgia, the romanticizing, the regret, the resentments are no longer going to affect them anymore. They are birthing into being a brand new person. Like if they're coming back from the past, they are completely different than you remember them. Okay, if that's your case or if this is someone you've kind of been in and out of contact with or maybe perhaps you're together but it felt distance, they are turning into a brand new person because they're seeing the beauty in the new beginnings and the possibility with you of a resurgence or coming together and doing something together, bringing a creative project forward dynamic duo tapping you know you help them tap into their creativity and their passion and their fire and they're they're really working to get over this and what's going to manifest is they're going to be able to they're just going to the past is the past okay and here's an 11 under the deck so for that 11 11 twin flame divine partner union coming into union and it's like overnight they're just bam a brand new person they wake up wake up and they're a brand new person. Like sometimes it does happen like that for people. It seems like it. Although it's been going on for quite some time. They've been learning the lessons and been making decisions that, you know, maybe weren't the best. But now they're just going to forget about that. And they're going to move forward in this new energy. Okay, with the less vampires, we are going to see a little more. Whoa. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. Those wanted to come out. A little more information about this person about this opportunity, about what spirit wants to tell what's going to come out of this, okay? What's going to come out of this is enlightenment. This union is bringing you enlightenment, whether it's just energetically and spiritually or it's actually they're, kind of, you know, they're in the physical now or they will be coming soon, but they give you inspiration. They're giving you that epiphany for that new innovation. Make, it's, they're, gonna, they're helping you make these decisions to move forward, okay? So they're going to bring you enlightenment. This union is bringing you enlightenment already. And they're making you remember, helping you remember that you're the creator. This person, this situation, whatever you're thinking about is a catalyst for you. It's the maker and the mother and the father. It's the creator. You are co-creating with spirit. Spirit is co-creating with you both to bring this union together. Wow. This person is a catalyst for you. This, this connection energetically or in the physical, whatever it is for you, is a catalyst for you to move forward, helping you come into balance, giving you that epiphany, giving you that aha moment of enlightenment. So you, I mean, really helping you create the things you want. Let's see if anything else wants to come through. Please don't fall on the ground. Thank you. Wow. Those just flew up in the air. They're um, very intrigued by you, by your seductive qualities. Yeah, they, they view you as authentic, truly authentic, real, something real, something real that they can tangibly be with that will make them happy and make them feel stable. That you're so natural in the way that you move. It's so beautiful and graceful and wonderful. And they see that about you. They, they, they feel that you're, you're very um, sexy in your own natural beauty way. Your natural beauty is sexy to them. And they're going to give you redemption. Wow. Someone's coming back with an apology. 
or you're going to apologize. It's redemption. It's absolution. It's forget, forget the past. Forget the past. Forget everything that happened before because the power is in now. You're both new people. They're going to give you this redemption, this natural redemption, because you're both filled with unconditional love. And that's, I mean, it's all been forgiven. It's all been forgiven. So something's coming um, to, uh, let's see, closure, or it, not saying it's going to end, but you're going to get that peace that you needed in your heart, that healing that you needed from this person. And it, you're going to feel very natural when you're around this person. You're going to feel very, very natural that you can be yourself. Even those little silly quirks that you have are just going to come out naturally, and this person is just going to love it. That's what I'm feeling. I'm going to love the quirkiness about you because you're rare, and they know that. How are they viewing you? Leo, how are they viewing you? Um, a whole new world. And I cannot sing. But anyways, you know that song, right? I don't know. But that's just what came to be. A new world is born. They see you as new life. They see you as the mother of their children or the father of their children, of having, creating, a, a birthing a project together, birthing babies, very fertile, productive, purified, detoxified. You, you know how to prepare for things. They see you as a very prepared and well together, well put together person. Um, you, you know, you've got all this love and unconditional love and you speak your truth freely. And they love that about you. They love that you do this. They love that you bring new life, that you breathe new life, that you're connected to the natural world. Look at that. The natural world needs you. And this is where they see you. A new world is born out in nature. Look at that. That's how they're viewing you. As very much connected with Mother Earth. Very grounded, very stable. Wow, they see you as very wise. Look at that. Little Owlin. Wisdom as light as a feather. That's why I felt they see you as beautiful, graceful, all knowing. The light. Wise. Focused. Determined. Anything else? Oh, and those just flew out. That was nice. Thank you. Nice and graceful. See? They're wanting you to know that they're helping protect you and they'll watch over you, but they also see you as a protector, that you protect the fruits of your labors, that you protect your family, that you protect everyone with fierceness. And the wolf, moon, the moon, the wolf, wolf might mean something to you, owls, if you start seeing these things, but they're just, you're their wolf or you're, they're your wolf. I don't, it's something about a wolf, that inner wolf, that, that balance that shadow coming into the light. You've made a mark on them. They will never forget you. They're always with you. No matter if they're with you in the physical or not, they are watching you, I feel like. They want to protect you and they want, they see you as new beginnings. It's like a faded, like, look, it's like, when you know, when a wolf, well, from the movies I've watched, but werewolves, like they mate for life or whatever, I feel like this is like the mark. Like they know that you've marked them. Like they're your, you're their mate for life. Like I, Beyond this physical, you're connected to them. Faded, destined, like that red string of fate is what I'm feeling. Deep, dark sea mermaid. Find solutions in unknown places in the darkness. I mean, they see you as brilliant, beautiful, amazing, gorgeous, the light, and you're creative. And it's like you just have all the answers. Even in the darkness, you can see the light. They appreciate that about you. So keep shining your light because you're calling them to you. I feel it's a very beautiful uh, union. Um, letting go of these energies that are sucking the life out of you is, um, and connecting with Earth, Mother Earth and taking care of your physical body will help with this. We're going to put these over here. And we're going to get some information for you, Leo. What's coming into the physical world for you with the Beautiful Creatures deck? What's coming in? What's being manifested? What does spirit you know, want you to look at a little more? What needs to be possibly let go of so these things can manifest? Let's just see what. What's being manifested for highest and best in Leo during this time period? Well, okay. So what I feel from this is you've been confused or you are confused now and there's some kind of confusion. Like, which, which uh, opportunity do I take? Which direction do I go? Which person do I choose? 
um, coming into balance, you know, making those choices, feeling confused about how to move forward. But your choice, whatever you choose, whatever is best for you will be victorious. This transformation, this death and rebirth into new, into new life will be victorious. Walking into the new portal, into new life and new beginnings and finally choosing and finally going after it will be victorious. So victory being recognized publicly, maybe at your workplace or being recognized by your lover, that it's victorious. You're going to be recognized and be given some kind of gift or something for this, for this transformation, leveling up in your career, getting a promotion, moving on, um, meeting the love of your life, just feeling victorious. Knight of Wands, okay? So this could be you, right, Leo? Knight of Wands, that spiritual, creative, passionate energy thinking, right? This is that getting clarity, making the choice of which direction you want to go, and then finally shooting that arrow, arrow and taking action. But I feel like right now, like in this time period, a little bit of contemplation on how to move forward. Perhaps this is your divine partner thinking about it. How can I move forward? What's my best route? You will be given the gift of spiritual sight, of seeing things from a different perspective during this time. And it's important to take a time out sometimes. See things from spirit's view. Allow yourself to suspend for a little bit. Disconnect from the bothersome outside world, from people trying to tell you what to do or how to be. Disconnect from your electronics. Go out in nature. Um, you know, the bunny is everywhere, I feel like, in your reading. So it's a very fertile, creative, productive time for you. Here's the white bunny. Follow the white rabbit, right? Follow the white rabbit. Follow your curiosities. But definitely leveling, leveling up spiritually. Look at all this wand energy and then the hanged man. A lot of spiritual growth is manifesting. Passion, desire inside of you being activated. Yeah, because this is what I, I see now. Okay, now I'm getting more of the picture. Because you're you're you've been in a, in a at a prison in your mind, and it's been really hard and challenging certain aspects of your life and different things you're trying to end and um, codependencies and addictions and confusion. But this is this is the op this is the decision you're making is to to finally drop the burdens to let go of this anxiety and all these crazy stories you're telling yourself and you're allowing others to tell you. Take a break. Detach. Drop the drop it. Drop the burdens. It's time. It's time to transform into this new life, and you're giving this op opportunity to do so by seeing things from spirit's perspective, seeing it from a way of, like to better yourself, to learn from, to grow from, to gain the wisdom from the lessons that you've been through. Because, yes, it's been hard. It's been a challenge, but you're done. You're victorious. You're into these new beginnings, and you're able to let go of all of this. That's what's manifesting for you. Look at this. Yeah, it's the ending. The finality, the finality, finality of a relationship, finality of the way that you used to think, a belief system that's being updated, a finality on a, you know, bothersome people around you, just ending it, ending situations, ending those addictions, ending those codependencies and, and allowing yourself to finally move on and transform into this new life. Very victorious transformation. And look at what you're transforming into. If you're having confusion about love, Choose the person who makes you feel like you can be yourself, that you can be your interesting, different, beautiful self, okay? Kind of looks like she's pregnant. So like I, I feel like I felt, if you're wanting to be pregnant, this might be a good time because I feel like she's pregnant. But this could be birthing um, new creative ideas. This, this person, your soulmate, your twin flame may be different than you've ever experienced. So you're having confusion. Oh my God, this is so different than what I've ever experienced. This person's totally different. This person's very spiritual, very loving, very kind, very compassionate, very out of the box. I don't know. They look different than me. They're from a different nationality, a different uh, religion, whatever it is. But instead of listening to everyone else about this choice and decision, choose you. Choose what makes you happy and promise that you're going to stick with your commitment. Make the commitment. Commit. This is a beautiful, loving, generous, kind union, relationship. That's what's coming into you. And look at this. What did I say? You're going to be rewarded. Victory is yours. This is you. Money coming in. Whatever you've been working on is coming into full bloom. And you're going to be able to take a nice bite out of that juicy, delicious peach of life. 
okay? And you have so much that you can share with others, okay? You have, if you've been wondering if you have enough to offer this union, this person, you do. You have plenty. You are very abundant on your own. So don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Don't let your old belief systems and your toxic thoughts to tell you that. You deserve this love. You deserve this. And this person deserves the commitment and deserves someone who's loving and generous and kind. Maybe this is the person you're attracting, someone that's very abundant, that's been on their own for a while, that is, you know, balanced spiritually, emotionally, generous, kind, doing well on their own. And so you're bringing this in by finally ending the crap that's not serving you, right? Gaining a spiritual perspective, you're calling in a very independent, abundant person to you. Take it as it resonates. But abundance is coming in no matter how it comes. Yeah, because you're not doing what everyone else says you want to do anymore. You're not going to paint the roses red when they're beautiful and perfect just as you are over here. Don't change for anyone. Don't change who you are and who your core beautiful person is for anyone. You don't need to paint these roses. You don't need to be however people say you're going to be. It's time to break free from that and end this. Okay? Yeah. Look at this. Look at all this. End. Defeat. The rivalry. What I'm feeling is being manifested is you're going to be rewarded for how brave you've been through all of this conflict, through all of these issues, through all of these changes. They're blessed changes. Expect the unexpected. Because you've been brave, you are the winner. You have won this. You are going to be blessed with prosperity. You see that? Prosperity and good health because you walked away from these freaking energies that are ridiculous and, and demanding and manipulating and you're walking away from being that way too. This could be you of being that way, knowing that you can't control others and you, you can lead them to water but you can't make them drink. So sometimes the best thing to do, drop the swords and drop the battle and, and drop the hardship and move on to these new beginnings where someone loves you and wants to nourish you and be by your side and empower you and be there for you. Very abundant union. But you have to be brave and walk away from this. So you're getting that bravery, that, that what we felt earlier, that lion, that bravery in order to move away from this. That's what's coming in. And you're going to be blessed in the physical world because of it. And you're going to be blessed with this king of cups or this is you coming in a balance with your heart and having a loving relationship that's fascinating to you. Okay, we're just going to get a little more information here with the... Um, Psychic Tarot, is there anything else you want to tell us about this decision and, and, and these cycles ending, um, letting go of, you know, cleaning our thoughts up? What else does Leo need to know this time, during this time period? Your sacrifices you've made, this is another hangman, so this is another double, double confirmation of gaining spiritual perspective. Coming out of the darkness, coming out of the, the dark night of the soul, re cleansed, refreshed, purified. I felt the purification earlier with the frog that I saw. So your life is being purified. You're being blessed with healing coming out of this, moving on from this. Yeah, you've sacrificed a lot, but you've sacrificed long enough. Yeah, you've sacrificed a lot because it was stressful financially, but, but, but things are changing. This is the change that's coming in, right? The Nine of Pentacles. Something's shifting financially for you. Yeah, this is your destiny. This is the wheel. This is the wheel of destiny turning in your favor. Follow your destiny. Trust yourself. Your sacrifices have not been in vain because you're being led to your destiny. These changes, these things that need to end, these decisions being made are part of your destiny. Trust in that. Beautiful partnerships and alliances are coming to you. A soulmate, a twin flame, a divine partner, a business partner, feminine and masculine within you being balanced. It's all coming together, okay? Everything is coming together because you've made these changes and you're ending these cycles. This is your new beginning, people you can trust. Look at that. Prosperity begins. This is your beginning. Planting that seed and it being abundant. There's that juicy peach again being rewarded and being able to take a bite out and having plenty to share with your partner to share with others i mean it's like the tree of abundance and good health and good fortune is just falling all over you but choose wisely 
Spirit wants you to remember to always choose wisely. Follow the light. Learn the spiritual lessons. They're leading you on your destined path. Choose what's best for you. Choose wisely. You are being recognized and rewarded for the work that you've put in. Victory is yours. I'm going to get an ending message here for you, Leo. Oh, or a couple messages because that just flew out into my lap. <laughs> okay, spirit, talk to us. Community and stillness. So during this time of transformation and healing, it's important to go within. Go within and be still. Gain that perspe perspective, that higher mind perspective. Spirit's working with you like magic in the stillness of the night, rejuvenating you, bringing you back to balance, giving you that peace and that clarity. You find your truth in the stillness. Reach out to your community of like-minded people. As you go through this transformation, look, you're flying through the healing and birthing, coming out of the darkness. Reach out to like-minded people that have been through the process and can help you on these last few steps to end these certain things that need to be to end. But the answers come in the stillness. We're going to read from stillness in the book here. These are the sacred destiny cards. Stillness. Take a step back from a project, situation, or relationship, even if it's just for a few moments. Mend bridges. Slow down. Breathe. Be still. Go within. Listen to your inner voice. Take time to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors, and spiritual guardians. Listen to your higher self. Timing is everything. This is not a good time to start a new cycle. Wait, incubate, fix things that need fixing, heal things that need healing, think things through, forgive yourself and others. If things seem barren or even bleak, hold on. Just as the migrating birds find new life in the tundra marshes in the summer, you, will too, you too will expand once again during the coming thaw in your life. Beautiful. A beautiful transformation of ending things into this new beginning. Don't be hasty. Go within. Take your time. What you've been going through, the things you've been learning, the lessons and the wisdom that you've been gaining are not in vain. They are all part of your destiny. And you're just about to embark on these brand new beginnings. And I wish you the best on this. And I look forward to hearing from you. I love you all. <laughs>